This video will guide you through your first flight with DJI Mini 2. Unbox DJI Mini 2. We're using the DJI Mini 2 Fly More Combo as an example, and take out the aircraft and its accessories. You can store spare propellers in the top pocket of the DJI Mini 2 shoulder bag. Users of the Mini 2 Fly More Combo can charge batteries with the two-way charging hub. Users that have bought the standalone version can simply use a USB charger and charge the battery. Insert the battery into the compartment. A clicking sound indicates the battery is fully engaged. Make sure that the battery is fully inserted and the battery compartment cover is securely in place. You can use a Type-C cable or the battery charging hub to charge an intelligent flight battery. The battery charging hub can serve as a power bank and connects to a mobile device via a USB cable. Remove the control sticks from their storage slots on the remote controller and screw them into place. Pull out the mobile device holder. The remote controller cable is stored in a slot built into the remote controller. One end of the cable is for connecting to the remote controller and the other end is for connecting to your mobile device. Pull out the end of the cable from the back of the remote controller. Put your mobile device into the mobile device holder with the port facing toward the right. Pull up the mobile device holder to secure the mobile device in place. Then connect the cable with the mobile device and the remote controller. Press the remote controller power button once, then again and hold to turn on the remote controller. In sequence, unfold the aircraft arms and the propellers and remove the gimbal cover. Press the power button of the aircraft once and then again and hold to turn on the aircraft. Search for DJI Fly in the App Store, then download and install the app. Please note that the aircraft and its accompanying remote controller are linked by default. Open the DJI Fly app and follow the instructions to activate the aircraft. If you have purchased or intend to purchase DJI Carry Fresh, please finish the purchase and binding within 48 hours of activating the aircraft. It is recommended to fly for the first time in an open outdoor area, instead of indoors, as you have more space to safely operate while learning. Before taking off, set the remote controller to normal mode. Check that the propellers and the battery are securely in place. The gimbal cover is removed, and a micro SD card is inserted. Then put the aircraft on the ground with the rear facing the pilot. Launch the DJI Fly app and tap Go Fly. Go to Safety Settings. Set return to home altitude higher than any surrounding buildings or obstacles. When the app displays abnormal alerts, please follow the on-screen instructions in the app. Tap the takeoff icon on the left and press and hold the icon to enable auto takeoff. After taking off, the icon on the left becomes the icon for landing. Tap the landing icon on the left and press and hold the prompt icon to land automatically. Push both sticks down and inward. Once the motors begin spinning, release both sticks simultaneously. Push the left stick up to ascend manually. The left stick controls the aircraft's altitude and orientation. The right stick controls the aircraft's ability to move forward, backward, and to the left and right. After you start the motors, if the aircraft has not taken off, push the left stick down to stop the motors. If the aircraft has taken off, push the left stick down to land. If you release the sticks during flight, the aircraft will hover automatically. Press the flight pause or RTH button once on the remote controller to make the aircraft break. During the flight, please face the remote control antennas towards the aircraft to get an optimal signal. The aircraft automatically changes to attitude, ATTI mode, when the vision system is unavailable or disabled, and when the GPS signal is weak or the compass experiences interference. In ATTI mode, the aircraft cannot hover or auto brake. In this case, please land in a safe location as soon as possible. Tap the photo button on the right and choose photo, video, quick shot, or pano. You can set camera parameters at the bottom right corner. 
You can also use the gimbal dial on the left of the remote controller to adjust gimbal tilt. Hit the shutter record button to start stop shooting or use the photo video toggle to switch between photo and video mode. In video mode, drag the zoom button in DJI Fly. Slide two fingers outwards on the screen or press and hold the customizable button in order to be able to use the gimbal dial to adjust the zoom in video mode. Tap the playback icon in the lower right corner to access the files on the aircraft and download at high speed. You can also view local files and aircraft files in the album on the home page. During flight, you can change flight modes via the flight mode switch on the remote controller. Normal mode. The aircraft utilizes GPS and the downward vision system to locate itself and stabilize. Intelligent flight modes are enabled in this mode. Tap the landing icon in the DJI Fly app or press and hold the RTH button on the remote controller to initiate Smart RTH. The aircraft will also perform Smart RTH or landing in the following situations. When the intelligent flight battery level is too low and has just enough battery power to return home, DJI Fly will ask the user whether to return to home. The aircraft will land automatically if the current battery level can only support the aircraft long enough to descend from its current altitude. Auto landing cannot be canceled, but the remote controller can be used to alter the direction of the aircraft during the landing process. If the remote controller signal is lost, the failsafe RTH automatically activates. If you want to power off the aircraft and the remote controller, press and then press and hold the power button for two seconds. It is recommended to use a propeller holder when storing. DJI Mini 2 can connect directly to mobile devices via Wi-Fi, allowing users to download photos and video to their mobile device through DJI Fly without the need of a remote controller. Users can enjoy faster and more convenient downloads with a transmission rate of up to 20 megabytes per second. Power on the aircraft and wait until the self-diagnostic test of the aircraft is complete. Press and hold the Quick Transfer button for two seconds to switch to Quick Transfer mode. The front LED will slowly blink blue before pulsing blue once mode switching is successful. Make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on your mobile device, and a prompt will automatically appear to connect the aircraft. Tap Connect once successfully connected. Note that when connecting a mobile device to the aircraft for the first time, you need to press the Quick Transfer button to confirm. Make sure that the aircraft is connected to your mobile device via the remote controller and the motors have not started. Enable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on the mobile device. As you enter playback in the DJI Fly app on your mobile device, tap the Quick Transfer icon on the upper right corner to access the files on the aircraft and download at high speed. Enter the album, choose the video you want to download, and select Trimmed Download, or you can download the entire video. Tap Trim Download and drag the progress bar to select the start and end points of the clip you need. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching.